talking with Dr. Sherry Tenpenny today. And uh, doctor, you're here at the Health Freedom Expo talking about a number of topics. Iodine is a big one. Uh, you were on a panel that's talking about uh, the radiation problems coming from Japan. Um, so iodine's been in the news a lot because of that. Um, but it helps in a lot of ways. Can you talk about how important iodine is just for overall health? Iodine is the base molecule of your thyroid hormone. In fact, when your thyroid makes your thyroid hormone, it's, it uses one molecule of tyrosine, which is an amino acid, and four molecules of iodine. And that's what basically your thyroid hormone is made from. So when you talk about iodine protection, when there's radioactive iodine that's a real problem, what people want to do is take very large doses of iodine to protect their thyroid. But that's only in the event of a huge nuclear meltdown and that you happen to be very close to the radio to the reactor, such as people who actually live in Japan that are very mm -hmm. close to the Fukushima reactor, that it would be good for them to take large doses of iodine to protect their thyroid. But the issue is, is that iodine is good for the whole body. In fact, when you read a thyroid textbook or anything about iodine, it talks about iodine for your eyes and your lacrimal glands, your salivary glands, your entire intestinal tract from your mouth all the way through to your rectum. In fact, the GI tract is actually like a big pool. It's like a big pot where everything that you eat that has iodine in it, like seaweed and grasses and eggs and uh, some sorts of uh, fish, uh, the saltwater fish have a lot of iodine in it. It goes in it's stored and pooled in your entire GI tract. And it's because iodine is actually your body's natural antiseptic. So mm. things that you eat that have bacteria and dirt and things that all come into your body through your mouth, you've got your natural antiseptic in there that is able to kill off the viruses and bacteria and keep it intact into your gut and go out through your stool instead of invading into your body. So iodine for the whole rest of the body is really important. Your GI tract and very important for your breasts. If you mentioned it's important for people that were very close to the radiation, mm. is it not as important then here to boost our levels or should we just be boosting our levels anyway in, in this I country? I think we should be boosting our levels anyway. In fact, um, I was on this same radiation panel when the Health Freedom Expo was in Long Beach back in February. Mm. And that was when it was very hot, literally in the news, no pun intended, mm. about the fact that it was only about three weeks after the radiation had explosion had happened in Japan. And I think that we are seeing more radiation exposure that's happening, particularly along the West Coast. I know that some of the dairy products have, have had higher levels of radiation in them. I know that they've talked about some in the groundwater. There's, there's more radiation, there's no doubt. I am not the expert to decide whether or not that's going to be detrimental in the long run. But I do know it's put um, iodine on everybody's radar screen mm -hmm. in terms of overall health. My contention is that irrespective of what happens with the radiation, whether it causes more disease or cancers or any of those things, the fact that people are now looking into iodine and understanding how important it is for overall health, that by boosting everybody's iodine level, it's going to maybe counteract some of the radiation issues, or at the very least, it's going to keep people healthier over the long run.